Hey y'all and welcome back. All right, when you think wines, you don't necessarily think Oregon, right? However, the Pacific Northwest is actually respected in the vino industry. And recently, winemakers and owners, along with Yellow Texas co-host Tessa, gathered in Houston, Texas for an event called Pinot in the City, a showcase of the region's signature grapes. We're on another YOLO Texas road trip, y'all. This time to an event held in H-Town's Minute Maid Park. Hey guys, so if you're a fan of the show, you know I love wine, which is why I'm so excited to be at Pino in the City right here in my hometown of Houston, Texas. Now this event has already visited cities throughout Texas like Austin and Dallas, but this is the first time that H-Town is hosting this unique wine event. All right, so enough talking, let's get to sampling. You know we couldn't wait to taste some of this delicious wine. But first, we met up with Morgan, the executive director of the Willamette Valley Wineries Association. All right, Morgan, so can you tell me a little bit about what Pinot in the City is all about? Okay, so Pinot in the City brings 64 wineries from Oregon's Willamette Valley. We actually travel around the country, but today it's Houston, and it's all things Pinot. Wow, so what was the discussion to get Pinot in the City to come to Houston? So a lot of people don't know where Oregon is, um, and especially about 20 years ago when Oregon wine was really starting to get known. So the wineries realized we have to bring the wine to the people. Pinot is what Oregon is known for, so that's the name, Pinot in the city. So are the bottles and cases here limited production? Yes, yeah, so Oregon only represents 1% of wine production in the U.S. So we represent just a small sliver, but a very special sliver. So of our 63 wineries that we here, have here today, many are very boutique, um, okay. having 5,000 cases a year or less production. Wow. So it really is a special opportunity for people um, to come and taste these wines because they may not have access to them at their favorite store. Thank you so much for all of that wine knowledge. I'm so excited to start with my tasting. Well, here you go, here's a glass. All right, I'm so excited. <laughs> there were over 60 wineries here to try and to kick things off, I was able to sit down with Gary, owner of Erath Winery. Erath Winery is one of the founding wineries in the Oregon industry and this goes back to 1969. Wow. So, you know, there are very few places in the world where Pinot Noir grows to perfection okay. and one of those places is Oregon. Uh -huh. Oregon Pinot Noir has become a name internationally recognized within only 50 years since its inception. All right, so the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's try out these wines. Uh, this wine is called Pinot Gris. What you can expect is a wine that is very fruity, like tropical fruits. Okay. okay. Uh, our wines are not sweet, they're dry, but they give you the sensation of sweetness, but there's no residual sugar. Okay. And they go extremely well with a wide range of foods. So I'm not a fan of these types because I always think they'll be so sweet and I'm gonna be so hungover after I drink them, but this one is not, like it's very refreshing. And that's what we call balance. We want a wine that is not too excessive in any direction. All right, I won't drink it all. I'll just <laughs> throw. <laughs> I feel so bad. Like, I've never thrown away wine like it's this. It's hard. Like, I felt like I was doing something wrong. All right. Howdy, y'all, and welcome back to Yellow Texas, where Tessa is taking a tour of Pinot in the City in Houston, Texas. What about this next one? The rose? Uh, the rose. Like with the Pinot Gris. No residual sugar, so it's going to be dry. Okay. But the fruit profile is a little different. With something like this, you might uh, sense a little more strawberry, uh, okay. maybe even melon, uh, that type of thing. But again, smooth, no roughness. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is delicious. Like I'm a fan of the rosé all day. All right. Well, this is our Pinot Noir, okay. and uh, like I said before. This is a great variety that put Oregon in the international spotlight. The beauty in Pinot Noir is the delicacy. It's okay. the nuances. And again, the fruit profile here might be a little more like um, cherries, red cherries, okay. strawberry, but more importantly, you get it in your mouth. It's not harsh. Okay. Like some big wines can be. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Wow. Does this one 
have like a smoky type of. Wow, you are really good. You are really good. I do this because a there lot. is a little <laughs> smoky component. Yes. That comes from the barrel. From the, bar from the yes. barrel. From the barrel. I can, and it's I almost can taste it. like um, a campfire smoke. Yes, yeah. yes. Just a hint. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Nailed it. There are 60 wineries here. This is pretty much heaven for all wine lovers. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to find my next favorite Pinot Noir somewhere in these groups. Let's go check it out. This wine, you cannot have another wine that's like this because this is only comes from Corte Terre. And it's very, Pinot Noir is like that. Where these are all beautiful wines, but none of them will be like Corte Terre because they're not from our place. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is different. This is different for sure. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. My name is Anna Matzinger, and I am here pouring Matzinger Davies wine. And what I like about this Chardonnay is it's, it's not blousy, it's kind of tense. It's got like a spinal cord of acidity running down through the wine. And the finish to me is a little salty. It's got a saline character, so it goes really well with seafood. Mm, yes, I can totally see me like eating like oysters and shrimp and just having this, this nice Chardonnay with it. My name's Colin Eddy. I'm the national sales manager for uh, Westmount Winery. So this is our Pinot Gris. We actually won the rodeo competition with our Pinot Gris. Okay, so it's definitely refreshing. Like I can immediately feel like it's it's very light and it's not too heavy. I've tried some amazing wines and found my new favorite Pinot Noir, which is really all you can ask for from Pinot in the city. Special thanks to Willamette Valley Wine, Gary Horner, and Erath Winery for putting on such a fantastic event. Now I gotta go get some more bottles, so see y'all later. For more information on all the wines you saw today, visit the link below for more information.